Also, the Prophet ﷺ advised us to adhere to 12 prayers, 12 optional prayers. And that if a person adheres to them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through them will build a house for Jannah for him. And they are the four sunnah which are before Dhuhr, the two sunnah after the Dhuhr, the two sunnah after Maghrib, the two sunnah after Isha, and the two sunnah which are before Fajr, and the hadith is found in Sahih Muslim. Also, my dear brothers in Islam, and my dear sisters, I remind you to perform Hajj as soon as possible. Don't delay it. Don't have this mentality that say, oh, you, you, you'll do it you know, when you get married. Or you do it when I get older. Who gave you any guarantee that you're going to get married? Who gave you any guarantee that you're going to get older and live to go to, 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 to Mecca? How do you know that you're not going to be afflicted with an illness or a disease or a sickness? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Al-Hajjul Mabrur, an accepted Hajj has no reward except paradise. I remind you to also be lenient when it comes to buying and when it comes to selling. And in the hadith found in Bukhari, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah admitted a man into paradise because he was lenient in his buying and selling. He's easy. He doesn't make it difficult. And in paying back and demanding his money. And in the hadith found in Sahih Muslim, there was a merchant who, was, who used to lend money to the people. And whenever his debtor was in strange circumstances, he would say to his employees, forgive him. So that may, maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive us. Forgive him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave him.